Wow, what a beautiful September day this is. Got a few things in line up here. A couple zero turns, a tractor, a couple tractors, and a couple more zero turns. All here for various things. There's some pumpkins and a watermelon that I found growing wild out behind the shop. What else do we have here? Pushmore, Champion Wood Splitter, Cub Cadet Snowblower. Poolan tractor with the dreaded compression release problem. Ferris zero turn, an MTD gold tractor, a couple John Deere's. But we have other things to work on today, like chainsaws. Let's go see what's on schedule for today. Good evening and welcome back to the shop. It's late on a Tuesday night here. We're gonna start a repair. So in the repair lineup, we have an MS500i that has some clutch problems and we'll get the tag. We'll see what all this is here for. We have an MS-250 with an oiling problem. We have an MS-271 that was lent to a friend and now won't start. And we have an MS-170 that won't start. Tonight, we're gonna start with this 500i, I'll meet you at the workbench. Welcome back to my workbench. Tonight, we're gonna to look at this steel MS 500i. This is a fuel injected 79cc saw. The 500i was the first fuel injected chainsaw on the market. I've sold lots of these chainsaws and I hear lots of good things back about them. I'm told these saws are thirsty and love their fuel. So this saw is owned by a tree service. It looks like it works hard. It looks like it works nine to five every day without a break. So the customer that dropped this off said it has a broken bolt, a dog bolt. He mills with it. The clutch blew apart and that it has a broken mount. I think we're talking about this mount right here. And that's all it says, get it back into service. So we're gonna take this saw apart and we're gonna find out what all's broken and get this thing back in service for him. Let's pull the barn chain off this saw. I notice here that this clutch cover has a hole worn right through it there. So a 500i has what they call captive bar nuts. So the bar nuts stay with the clutch cover. And you can see the hole worn through it there. I'm guessing the clutch fell apart and uh, they just kept on cutting and the chain wore right through the clutch cover. Peekaboo. This doesn't look good. Let's take it apart and see what damage we have. We'll get that barn chain out of the way. We've got issues here. Let's dig deeper. This chainsaw required maintenance probably about a hundred hours ago. 
So there's our clutch drum, rim sprocket, it's toast. The clutch shoes and springs, the springs are wore out. This will be all replaced if, if we were repairing this saw. Uh, you can see here, if I take this apart a little bit, the wear on that spring. It's cutting through it. If I just put this back together with these parts, I'll just be back here again with more problems. Let's get that stuff out of the way. We've got some bigger problems here. So this screw would have mounted in the handle here. And you can see that this is bored right out. Like, did no one see that happening? And same thing down here, there's a peg. Something might be missing there. And the crankcase is, that's the crankcase there. It's damaged as well. Just keep running it. This is why it's so important to check these AV mounts on a regular basis, especially a saw with heavy use like this. Hopefully you can see that. This little peg, there's a bushing or something missing here. And this little peg is in that bushing and it's supposed to stay centered. The bushing's long gone and that peg's been hitting on the crankcase and broke it. I'm just going to finish a, a little external walk around on the saw before we go any deeper. So the muffler is caved in. See the handle? See that there? So this saw probably rides around somewhere with another saw sitting here with its bar and chain wedged through the handle. So um, that's, that's what that is. I'm pretty sure that's what that is anyways. Emblem is missing leaves or something sticking out of there. Lots of dirt. I wonder if this cover's ever been off before. What do you think? Let's take it off. You ever been turned before? Holy cow. Oh no. Why? Oh my God. I didn't mention it earlier when I was telling you about the MS500i, but this saw will hook up to our scanning tool and give us some data. So I plugged this in before we started tonight and I cannot get a reading off of it. I don't know why. It would have been interesting to know how many times the saw started and how many hours are on it. I'm gonna try to find out why my scanning tool will hook up to this. Anyways, let's keep going here. Just about it hooking up to the computer there. Because the there's so much movement here and stuff broken, it could be a broken wire or something like that. I'm betting that there's a broken wire somewhere, but we'll find out. We haven't heard this saw run yet. He didn't mention that it had any running issues, but um, let's take this, let's take this air filter off. Um, I wonder if they know this model came with an air filter. So, oh yeah, there is a, there's a pre-filter buried under all of this. I wonder if it's doing its job.
It's not a fine mess. So obviously it's been sucking some dirt past. It didn't really have much of a choice. If there was an award for the dirtiest air filter of the year, the saw probably won it. What did the saw do to deserve this? It's like spandex pants. Just just pull them off. Oh my god. It's just packed. I know a bunch of you are going to say, Erica, just put that air filter back on. Just clean that pre-filter with soapy water. Not a chance. I haven't heard this saw run yet, and I want to before I go much further here. I'm going to go over to the compressor and just clean this stuff off. I'm going to give its air filter just a quick cleaning so I can put it back on temporarily to see if this thing will fire or not. So I'll give it a quick clean off. I'll be right back. So this area has been cleaned up. This air filter, just a, just a quick blowout. I just, I'm going to put it back on because I don't want anything more going down there. And then we're going to go over to the door and see if this thing wants to start for us. Okay, I'll meet you over at the door. The 500i has a primer bulb, so we'll prime it five to ten times. Also has a decompression valve, which is already in or broken, I'm not sure which. saw seems to run pretty good. I don't think the decompression valve's working. It's very high compression when pulling it over, but he didn't mention it. So I'll mention this to him, but we won't, uh, we won't do anything with this unless he wants us to. So just for curiosity, let's pull the spark plug out of this and examine the piston and cylinder with the camera. This saw uh, has been sucking a lot of fine particles, so I wouldn't mind having a quick look down in there to see if there's any damage. I'll go grab my camera. Spark plug 
wasn't very tight. The plug is kind of dark and crusty. It's been in there a while. The gasket is not crushed and this plug was not in tight. So probably someone has replaced this at some point, but um, didn't put it in tight. Here's a look in at the piston and cylinder. This chainsaw runs a small spark plug, so it's hard to get a good look, but things look good in here. So after we had it running, out of curiosity, I thought it would, I would take it over to the computer and plug it in again. And it must have shook its brains out because it plugged in this time. So this chainsaw has a total operating time of 297 hours, 24 minutes and 23 seconds. This saw has successfully started 7,925 times. This saw has turned off with the stop button 7,028 times, and it has turned off without the stop button 1,008 times. So we would assume maybe running out of fuel or whatever reason it would stop without the stop button. This recoil has been pulled out 11,919 times. The highest RPM the saw has ever reached is 14,970 RPMs. And that happened at 296 hours. So about an hour before this thing broke down on them. And its last service was never. So when I say it's never been serviced, what the computer tells me is this saw was last plugged in at the factory. So, I mean, someone's obviously, you know, try to put a spark plug in at once or something. So whatever's been done to it in all this time, I don't really know. I don't have a lot to compare this to. Um, I don't see 500 eyes come back in with very many problems or a, a saw that's, you know, been, been used this hard. Is 297 hours a lot? Um, Anybody on here have 500 eyes that have um, this many hours, this many starts, or had that cord pulled out 12,000 times? I'd be curious to know. I'm gonna go order the parts I need for the saw right now. And when they get here, we'll get the saw put back together. Welcome back to my bench. We're back here with this 500i and the parts that I've ordered have arrived. So let's put this thing back together. Let's take this old handle off. The old handle off. And let's put our new handle on. Earlier in this video, I showed you that peg that was smashing off the crankcase. So there's, there's what's missing off of the old handle. It comes on the new handle. Okay, let's fight this new handle back on this saw. The older saws were a bit easier to do this. This one's a bit tricky.
So there's our new handle installed. That tightened this right up. So there's where all the play was before on the wore out handle. And that's proper again in there, except for the damage to the crankcase, which there's nothing you can do about that. There's the old handle. Okay, let's put this clutch back together. New oil pump driver. There's the part number if you need it. And there's a new complete clutch. And there's the part number for that. Clutch is tightened down. We can pull our piston stop out now. New sprocket bearing. New rim sprocket kit. New spark plug, gapped properly. Put the top cover back on. So this is his air filter that came out of this just cleaned it up well the new air filter didn't come in today's shipment it'll be here tomorrow so for now this is just gonna go on here but the new one is coming okay before i put the bar and chain back on the saw we're gonna go over to the door fire it up, make sure it's oiling properly. Um, while I had the covers off, I didn't catch it on video, but I pulled that decompression valve out, had a look at it. It seemed to function okay. I put it back in and it is now working again. So um, I'll mention it on his invoice. Maybe he wants a new one of those, but that might be working again. So I'll meet you over at the door. give it some primes. So I think this steel MS500i is about ready to go back into service. It came in here with uh, broken the handle all bored out. It was all jiggly wiggly. Um, the clutch was blown apart and one of the dog screws was broke off. We had to drill it out and put a new one in. So we have replaced the handle, replaced all the clutch parts and replace the spark plug. It's gonna get a new air filter when it arrives tomorrow. And um, so earlier we talked about the saw, we plugged it in, it has almost 300 hours of runtime on it. Um, over seven, almost 8,000 starts. And this recoil has been pulled out almost 12,000 times.
And this is, I believe it's first time being to a shop for service. So this saw is heading back out for another 8,000 starts and another maybe 300 hours. I've got lots of chainsaws waiting to be worked on. Let's get to them. Thank you so much for watching.